this is just a little, I guess, guidance for future running YouTubers and creators out there. If you're hoping to do YouTube someday, someday down the road, My oh my, my oh my oh my, DGR, here we go, thank you, thank you, thank you, for just being you, and uh, we're just coming back again, ups and downs, downs and ups, mountain peaks and valleys along this journey, oh, we've got a diagnosis officially, that's nice, gotta say. Know what's going on. Here they are, crutching away. And uh, I wanna talk about a lot today, actually. And you know, sometimes you get in the uh, rhythm of shoe reviews, running up big mountains, filming races for all of you, trying to bring a little bit of hope and beauty and inspiration to the screens around the world. And on that note, I just have to say what warms my heart the most is not winning Pikes Peak, is not filming UTMB, is not, you know, I don't know, testing out the latest carbon fiber plate shoe. That like is way down the, way down the list. For me, what happens is about once a week on my phone via Instagram or Twitter or wherever the case may be, little videos show up and you know who you are out there. I don't know, maybe three or four times a month of a, a dad or a mom sitting down on the couch, turn it, you know, coffee in hand, turn it on the TV, and there's little Jacob, or there's little Jessica sitting beside them watching the daily vlog together. And they film it, and they put a little title saying our morning routine together. This is what they do, you know, dad and kid, and I just like, that's like, oh, it gets me every single time. And I share that insight as to like what's going on on you know this channel and within DGR around the world is that I keep uploading for those moments, not for the the goodness that yes can potentially happen if you like I would take I take those videos and those moments over qualifying for the Olympic trials and the marathon any day of the week. I'm telling you, like that's why I keep uploading to YouTube. I just, I do believe there is some beautiful opportunity out there to connect around the world, not just down in the comments, but with the people right in your life through this amazing sport of running, okay? So, either way, I do want to po apologize though, if I've let you down, ever, you know, not, not because of the injury, but just like, I'm, we're trying, and that's what you do on YouTube. You, you tinker, you try, you test, you figure it out. You don't figure it out. You, you, you succeed and you fail. And that's why I've been doing this for six years. And that's going to connect to the question of the day here in a minute. Um, and that's why I just, I love failing. I love failing. Whether it's in running, all right? Now, this isn't like a, well, it's a fail in the sense like, you know, I'm not running right now. It's like, that's a sad thing. I'd rather be running. Uh, but it's not going to keep me down. It's not going to stop me from pursuing my dreams. And same on YouTube. I struggled for two and a half, three years of daily uploading. And guess what? I kind of figured it out. After two and a half to three years, though, it took me a while, but I figured it out. And um, I will say that because I've figured it out and because I've 
kind of cracked the YouTube code and a little bit of the YouTube algorithm is that it has allowed me to go all in, okay? To do this full time. Uh, always new subscribers, always love you. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. You might be new and you might know like, this is what I do. This is my job. This is my career. This is how I pay the bills. Just like you have jobs out there and careers out there around the world. Um, you have chosen certain paths, whether it's a teacher, architect, um, nanny, doesn't matter, like whatever you do for work, it, that's amazing, that's your passion, hopefully it is your passion, whatever you're doing. So for me, it's YouTube, and it's, it, it's more importantly, it's, it's storytelling, and even more importantly, it's Jacob and Jessica sitting on the couch with mama and papa watching the daily vlog. That's why I do this every single day. Um, but I'll just say, everybody, 2022, go give, if you could, go give your running YouTubers a hug. I subscribe, I don't know, I sometimes I say two, I think it's probably closer to 100 running YouTube channels. I just like to see what people are doing, um, big ones, small ones, and it's hard right now. Some of them do it as a passion project, but some of them do it as their job. This is why I don't coach, I just don't have the time and why I've chosen to go all in on YouTube. And it's amazing, because I love it. And that's why, you know, someday maybe I will coach, but today is not that day. But there are running YouTubers out there who are really struggling. I will say, ad revenue, so inflation, hello, it's hitting all of us, you know, you, there's no denying it, it's just hitting all of us. And when, and this is just a little, I guess, guidance for future running YouTubers and creators out there, if you're hoping to do YouTube someday, someday down the road, first of all, you got to diversify your revenue streams. I'll talk about that in a minute, but um, you got to make sure you love it. But just be aware that the first, one of the first things that big companies cut from their budget is their ad spend, their advertising budget in their, you know, their entire company. A lot of times the advertising gets cut first. Well, in bad economies and when inflation is is high. And so, just so you all know, running YouTubers around the world are struggling right now. I promise you, and that's how they make their money, okay? So go give them a hug, go give them a tip, go give them a super chat if you can. And like for me, I diversified two or three years ago because I knew the economy wasn't gonna be great forever, all right? So members of the channel, you're really keeping this channel afloat right now. I'll just be, just call a spade a spade. So thank you for your support being a member of the channel. That's why, oh, I love it. I, that's why I, I'm still able to upload every day. I don't have to go get a second job. Remember I used to drive for Uber? Yeah, I did at nights for, I think I did it for 18 months as I was building up the channel. Like I had two jobs, I had actually had three jobs, maybe even more. I know, I had a lot of jobs uh, just to make ends meet. And so, Running Warehouse, thank you Hoka for sending those Bondi 8s just a minute ago to the house. Uh, that's why I work with Running Warehouse because I knew two or three years ago, if I was gonna turn this into my career, I would need to have a diversified revenue streams. I'm just trying to provide a little guidance and a little context because a lot of people are new to the channel. A lot of people, I'm just trying to be transparent. A lot of people don't understand how YouTube works. And they, you know, as soon as I had the injury, which I'll tell you what it is here in one second. Um, they said, this Seth, this is amazing. You can take, you can have your uh, maternity leave. You can, you know, Kate was just born. You could take, uh, uh, you could take two months off and just let your leg heal. Eh, it doesn't work like that. I don't have a boss. I don't have a salary. I don't have, uh, it's me. I'm my boss. Like I like if if money's gonna come in, it, it falls to me, and I love it that way. That's why I love being, you know, kind of a a solopreneur as they're called. Um, so I can't do. There's no PTO in creator world. All right. There's definitely no what it, paid time off. In case you don't know what that means, PTO paid time off. It just it falls down. So again, that's why I say if you love a running YouTuber out there, just give them some love. Keep supporting them, and even if you can't throw them a bone financially, just uh, encourage them in the comments, like, I appreciate your content, I know it's hard right now, but keep going. And it, and I, you know, I will say, I, if you, I, I love, you know, business and economics and it's ebbs and flows. It's just always ebbs and flows. You gotta, you can't get too, you gotta, you can't get too high, you can't get too low, you gotta cut it through the middle. And that's why, again, 
Uh, we do the running warehouse work where I sell shoes through running warehouse and why we have the members of the channel just to keep us uh, keep us ticking along. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to share that and that we're not giving up despite crutches. I've been, you know, I, you know, six years on YouTube. I've been through running injuries before and I've created daily vlogs with running injuries before and you make it work and you get you get creative and that and that's I mean if you like running shoes right now and by the way I'm still discerning like what is the future of this channel here's a poll that I ran on the community tab about two weeks ago and it's just interesting to see like why people watch the channel here's the results if you care to share your opinion down why you watch down below in the comments feel that's not the question of the day but feel free to do so um so it's just uh it's a fascinating world being a creator and making it work through the ups and downs okay actually let's do it right now question of the day what questions and i'll do my best to answer as many as possible i apologize if i don't get to all of them but i know there's going to be a lot what questions do you have for me about being a running youtuber okay i'll leave it at that what questions do you have for me about being a running youtuber i guess i'll just add you could take it any direction with respect to the back end with respect to injuries with respect to creativity with re oh my goodness go any direction you want all right there you have it we'll get the comment of the day here in a second and uh, the injury it is a sacral stress fracture sacral sacral i think so it's the left side i believe it's called the uh i don't know all the anatomy sacral i've never had this stress fracture before so it is a it's a bone injury i've had stress fractures in the past i'm actually pretty proud this is my first uh stress fracture in a decade i feel good about that i had a lot of stress fractures back in college and um I've had a bone density test, just so you know, and I'm good, totally fine, and uh, we just keep marching on. Actually, I'm at the field, because I got approved for cross training and uh, core. So I'm gonna do my core workout here, just let it rip, uh, trying to stay as, um, you know, as active as possible while still obviously letting it heal. Capiche? Sacral stress fracture. That is the injury. Matt, you get the comment of the day from the Hoka Mach 4 versus Hoka Mach 5. Uh, running shoe battle yesterday. So again, if you like running shoe uh, content, this is your time to shine on the channel. He says, last Hoka I bought was the Spigo 5s. I'll link to that full review down below in the comments. One of my favorite, it may have been the highest score yet, I can't remember, for trail shoes 2022. It's down below. Really enjoy them with the exception being the laces tend to loosen up during, during some hard downhill running. Matt, that's an incredible insight. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, the tongue is a bit short for my liking, I agree. As well, I bought them to train for Pikes Peak and potentially run the race in them. Matt, I would race Pikes Peak. It wouldn't probably be my first choice, but I would race Pikes Peak in the Speed Goat 5s. I really would. It's a good shoe. Good shoe. There you have it. Just wanted to clarify. Wanted to clarify. Pay time off. Clarify how YouTube actually works. How the creator economy works. How 2022 is beating all of us down. So go give your running YouTubers a hug. Um and just encourage them to keep going. So, I love you. We will toss it to another um, update. You know, I give updates, I don't know, not too, too often, but just kind of a little generalized update right here, right here, right here. All right, everyone, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.